Okay, so carrying on from where we left off in the last tutorial, uh, what we're going to be doing is um, adding in our strafing and uh, basically another blend tree um, ready for when we move left, right, and backwards and forwards. Um, so firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the movement offset is set to one. Um, and I'm just going to uh, look for is target mode. I'm just going to go ahead and tick that. So now if we hit play, you can see that the player follows the camera. So now we need to implement these animations. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to create a new blend tree. I'm going to call this targeted movement. All right, so I'm going to go into this blend tree and uh, we're going to actually add another parameter, another float for horizontal. And with this blend tree, we're going to make it a 2D sample for now with uh, vertical and horizontal. I'm going to go ahead and add in our motions. Uh, so the first ones we go into add is uh, let's have a look at our animations here. So we're going to want quite quite a few here. So firstly, we'll go with walking forward. We'll also have our idle. Then we'll have left strafe walking. Uh, right strafe walking and walking backwards. Okay, we'll do it for walking for now. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna compute, compute on the X position. So, um, our X is basically, if I, for instance, show you here, our X is using vertical. Um, so that'll be just like we computed the others. We're going to be computing the X position from the velocity Z. They see our walking forward and everything is set. Our uh, walking left, um, we'll just set that to zero and walking right, we'll set that to zero as well. Walking backwards, um, we'll set that to uh, we'll leave that as it is. That's perfect. Idle will always be zero. Okay, so now to do the Y. We're going to compute position Y from, and we'll say velocity uh, Y instead. We'll check if that's the right one. Looks like it isn't. So we'll just do the same Y position from velocity X. Okay, that seems a lot better. So walking backwards, I'm going to set to zero. Walking forward, zero. Idle, zero. And we're just going to use these two here. So walking left is minus one. Walking right is zero. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit play. And we'll take a look what this looks like as I start moving things around. Okay, so you can see as I increase vertical, we start moving forwards, decrease, start moving backwards. I change the horizontal to minus, we start moving right or left and vice versa. We can have a combination. All right, so what I'm going to do now is, because the strafing speed is the same, 
I'm going to make sure that our walking left and right is the same. So I'm actually just going to use that, set that to minus. So our walking left is going to be the same as right, just so that it's equal here. And we're going to go base off of these speeds here. So I'm going to go to our script and uh, our player controller. And what we're going to do is, and now it is target mode here. What we're going to add is similar to this, um, except we're just going to pass in <clears throat> the values as they are. So I'm going to copy this, the set float, and instead of animate a vertical, we're just going to add our vertical speed. It's allowed to go into the minuses now, it's not a problem. And same for our horizontal. And horizontal speed. Okay, so firstly, let's just <laughs> take a look what this looks like. We're gonna go back into our animation tree here. And we're gonna add a switch. Um, It'll make a transition between each of these. And if you click on the uh, transition, we can actually add some parameters, so some conditions. So we'll move from movement to targeted movement if uh, a Boolean is set. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add that Boolean. I'm just going to call it is target mode. Then what we're going to do, we're going to use that Boolean inside this transition condition and say if is target mode is true, it'll transition to targeted movement and we'll just do the opposite back to movement. I'm going to add another condition. Is target mode false and we'll move back. I'm also going to untick the box that says has exit time because we just want it to do it instantly. Just like that. Okay, so now we've got that set up, um, we need to set this programmatically as target mode. Uh, so I'm actually going to come in to movement here. I'm just going to do our animator to our character animator dot set bool. And then the name of the bool, so it is target. This target mode for the boolean is target mode. There we go. Right, so if I hit play, we'll take a look at how this looks now. I'm going to go up to scene. So if I move right, you see we start strafing right. If I move left, start strafing left. Then you can also move forward. And you can also move backward. All right. So what I'm going to do now is set the rest of our values here. So I'll walk in backwards. Um, so I'm going to go back to our animator, talk to movement. We're going to take a look at these values. So our strafing speed is now 0 0.94. So we'll go over to Jack, we'll just set our strafing speed. There we go. We'll also grab our walking backward speed. To Jack. So we got our walking backward speed. Um, it is installed as a negative here, so we'll just pop that. What I've also been doing is only taking it to the last two decimal places. Okay, so all now we have is running strafing and running backwards, which we'll come back to. And go ahead and hit play now. Just make sure that strafing speed's matching up. Okay, that seems to be good. However, we also need to do it for our running speeds. So I'm going to go back into our blend tree here. And I'm going to add in our running. So 
I'm just going to add another blend tree here for our uh, left strafe. Didn't mean to add a blend tree. Add a motion field for our left strafe. So running left. Add a motion field for our right strafe. So running right. Add another motion field for our running backwards. And uh, another motion field for just our running. There is no sprinting when we're in targeted mode, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, we will need to compute all the positions again, um, just to keep it all lined up. So we'll do that now. So we'll compute the X positions um, with the velocity Z. And we'll compute the Y positions from the velocity X. All right, so things to bear in mind, idle, We'll just set that to zero on both, so it's directly in the middle. Walking forward, position Y, we'll set to zero. Walking left, uh, position X, zero. Walking right, position X, zero. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll also set, um, we'll change our strafing speed to match our walking left. Walking backwards. Uh, the position y to zero. Let's see, I'm only giving them movements in their actual axes um, that they're supposed to be on. So running left, uh, the position x to zero. Um, same for running right. Running backwards, uh, position y to zero. Running forwards, position y to zero. Okay, I'm going to match these up just like I did with the strafing, uh, the walking strafing. So we can grab our speeds from this now. So we'll go we'll go to Jack and we'll just change these to our new strafing speed. Um, walking strafing speed now 1.53. And then we'll also grab our uh, running backwards speed. Oh, that's walking backwards. Running backwards speed, that's minus two. We should have running backward speed, 2.7. We'll come back and uh, reduce them to the right decimals in a minute. Running forward is 3 point, which I believe we already have. Running speed, 3 point, yep. Yeah. So it's just uh, running strafing, which I was pretty close anyway. Actually, I think as soon as we reduce it to the right decimal places, uh, we're spot on. I'm just going to reduce all of these to two decimal places. There we go. I believe they are all set now. Um, so if I maximize, oh wait, let's, um, we'll do as well watch it in the animator as well. If I hit play. You can see the animator will kind of visibly show you what it's moving to. Okay, so what we're actually going to do now is we're going to change this um, to freeform directional. Let's see how this looks now. There we go. So you see we're using all the running animations now. If I hit control, we go into our walking animations. Cool. So that's the end of that tutorial. Uh, we will obviously start matching up the speeds a lot better later on um, with a few more tutorials. Um, but for now, uh, we'll use that 
and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.